Hi everyone, this is Ryan here from the Debug Log uh, with another installment of Tips and Scripts. Uh, today I got a quick little tip for you um, on how to adjust the time scaling in your Unity project. Now this can be good for effects or things such as bullet time or just maybe even general debugging uh, when you're trying to see interactions between objects and you, you know, they're happening too fast maybe at your current time scale and, and uh, you can't really see what's going on. Uh, this will allow you to actually slow down time so you can maybe catch some of the more little intricate things happening in your scene. So you can see here in the scene we have uh, Ethan, who's going to be part of our demo. He's got just some simple idle animations on him. And uh, then you, we have uh, just a red and a green ball that are rotating. So I'll just start it up and show you kind of what it looks like. All right, there's Ethan chilling. And here's our small little solar system happening there. Um, now up at the top is a slider and this slider actually controls sort of the time dilation for the scene so you can see as I move it to the right it starts to speed up the animations and the rotations and then I can move it back to the left and slow them down slower than uh, uh, their default settings or time scale of one. So this basically goes from one to I think it is about, uh, let's see, excuse me for the delay. Uh, one, two, max value of five. So this will speed it up to about five times of the normal time scale. All right, and this is actually very easy to do. So um, you can see in the scene we have our two spheres here, our red and our blue. Um, and on this sphere one, we have a rotate script. Now this rotate script is very, very simple. It's just in the update loop. We are, uh, oops, sorry, let me get to the rotate sphere script. In the update loop, we're just applying a rotation transformer on the y-axis uh, based off of time. So we're going to apply a percentage of this rotation amount as time elapses. Alrighty. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Is that right there. And that's on sphere one and it spins around and then sphere two is uh, parented to it. Where's the child of sphere one? And um, you know they just rotate around in a circle there. Uh, let's see. And then the other script we have is the actual uh, script to control the time scaling. Now this is just attached to this slider right here. And this is just an out-of-the-box slider from Unity's UI system I uh, hooked up. And um, that contains our time slider script right here. So if we go back to Visual Studio, we can see on our time slider script, again, very simple. It just gets the slider component off of the object and then it applies the slider's current value and sets that as time.timescale. So again, very easy to do to affect all things that run off of time. Um, and you can see here in the actual slider I have set for a max value of a 5. And I believe that goes up to 100 if you'd like. So um, so yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. And this is I've actually used this in my day-to-day -day job to you know uh, see combat interactions happen and see if maybe things are hitting in the wrong place, projectiles firing from the wrong node. Um, can be quite helpful in debugging as well as just, you know, max pain type of bullet time stuff, which everybody loves. But anyway, so hope you enjoyed it. And this is, again, Ryan from the Debug Log. And this is a tip and a script, some scripts. So see you again. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.